that this new rule on AI tech transfer is not necessarily an outright ban. It's more a delaying tactic. So does it make sense for China to wait out the election in November? And what parts of China policy could change if Joe Biden gets elected? So I think I don't know that I agree that it's simply a delaying tactic, actually. I think, you know, China is looking at um, a United States policy that's increasingly restrictive when it comes to um, commercial engagement, especially on the tech front. And the reality is that China already had all sorts of restrictions in place for dealing with sensitive technologies and sensitive data. And, and China is simply stepping up its restrictions and saying, you know, companies like ByteDance, um, other Chinese companies in the tech space, if they're going to sell sensitive portions of their business or portions that the Chinese government deems sensitive, they're going to need a license just like American companies need licenses to sell sensitive technologies. For companies in your organization, does it make sense right now the pain that they have to go through the U.S.-China tensions if, in the long run, it will lead to a more level and fair playing field? Well, I, I think the question is really, is that is that the path we're on? I mean, I think every company would say it would be great to have a more level and even playing field in China. Um, and in some, in some areas, in some industry sectors, we have seen some significant improvements, especially financial services, and part of that is a result of the phase one deal. But what's happening right now with, with the WeChat order especially, I think most companies would say this doesn't feel like a path towards a more level playing field. This feels like um, a movement that could severely hobble U.S. companies' business in China in the immediate term, um, if it, depending on how it is um, interpreted and applied, if it's applied in the China market to U.S. companies operating there and to U.S. persons there, uh, it could be really debilitating for U.S. companies. And that, that doesn't lead to a more even playing field. It just leads to U.S. companies being squeezed out of the market.